this is um, this is Hitchcock. It's spellbound. It, it, it's a beautiful poster. It's a beauty. Because posters were like dreams. They were, they were, in a sense, advertisements for dreams. Come in and dream this picture, this movie, these faces and this color and this movement. There was something you wanted to show me in uh, particular. Yes. Now here, this is very important. This says right here, the key to re the key to Reserva. Okay. And uh, it, it's actually probably the beginning of uh, something very special. If you'd like to see. Yeah, I'd love to see. These are pages, undated. Three and a half pages with another page missing in the middle here. Back in the theater, it says, see that? Yeah. Back in the theater, there's a page missing. We don't know what happened in between. Yes, these are uh, pages from... Uh, and here's, the, here's, the, here's the best part. These are pages from a Hitchcock film. They're pages from a Hitchcock film? Yeah, but the thing is this. The thing is this. That for whatever reasons, whatever reasons, this key from Reserva was not made. But all that survives of this project are these... That's it. Right here. Okay. Right here. You see it. I don't even want to touch these. I don't even want to touch them in their protective envelopes, okay. if you don't mind. So you're you're no longer just going to imagine it. You're you're going. No, to, we're going to do it. You're going to do we're it. We're going to do it. Then. Yeah, like make my own Hitchcock film, but it has to look. It has to. It has to be the way he would have made the picture then, only making it now. But the way he would have made it then, if he was alive now, making this now, he would make it now, as if he made it back then. I understand perfectly. Good, but his film. But his film. Not mine, because I couldn't. Your execution of his vision. Absolutely. Okay. Three and a half pages of a script. Yes. Developed by Alfred Hitchcock to direct. You don't know what the rest of the script is. No. It's, it's one thing to preserve a film that has been made. It's another to preserve a film that has not been made. Has that ever been done before? No. But we're wow. going to do it. We're going to do it. And, and what's, your, what's your approach to making these uh, My approach? These I'm obviously not going to shoot them as I would. But can I shoot them as Hitchcock? I don't think so. So who will I shoot them as? This is the question. Yeah. This is the question, and this is the process, right? Do you mind if I touch them? No, don't touch them. No, oh, no, no, no. Sorry. Sorry. And roll, roll in. All right, man. Rolling. Okay, man, you're on a mission. And action, guys.
So what happens here? We don't know because the page is missing, right? They never never found, found it, never found it, no. So what I did was I just shot the last, the last paragraph. That's what we have here. feel you successfully preserved Hitchcock's vision with this? Well, sometimes, you know, I would hope so. I think sometimes I, even while I'm doing this, I think I kind of feel I'm looking over, over our shoulders, you know, looking over my shoulder anyway. And I mean, I just, the only thing I hope is that he kind of takes it in the right spirit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, it'd just be terrible, if, you know, if it was like, I just hope he understood the, you know, the fun of it in a way, right? I'm, I'm, the spirit, you know. I'm sure he does. I hope he does. I hope he does. Because he meant it that comes out of love, you know. But a lot of things come out of love that are not necessarily that good. So who's next, uh, Wyler? We could do we could do the scene from Greed because they got the stills. They sure. got the stills. Yeah. We could just. Yeah.